So in this video, I'm going to be talking about your assignment. So let's go to your blackboard and go to the assignment section and click CA1 brief. Now, in this assignment, you are supposed to model the whole kitchen set and then render it in AO mode. Okay, we're going to be talking about AO mode in week six. Okay, so before you do anything, make sure you read the brief and the spec again. Now. Uh, let's go to your CA1 resources. So in this section, we give you the photo of the kitchen. So if you click this one, these are the photo of the reference kitchen set. So your assignment is to model as close as possible to match this uh, kitchen reference photo. Okay, so there's another view from a different angle. Okay, so this is what the kitchen looks like. And there's also a diagram. Okay, let's skip this one. And there's a diagram for your kitchen. Okay. Um, so yeah. So let's go create um, Maya project folder before you even do anything. So let's save that one. Okay, go to File Project Window and create the new kitchen set uh, project folder okay so in this example i already create my project folder okay and i place that in my desktop okay so once you create the folder you need to save the reference picture into the proper folder so in this case i already put everything inside my source image folder okay so all these pictures are being saved in that source image folder. Now, uh, let's go back to this Maya file. Okay, so let's save that into the scene folder and open up in Maya. Now, basically what this scene all about is that we already create a pre-made wall and a ceiling and a ground for you so you can use these as a measurement um, references okay so you don't have to struggle to match the wall and stuff like that okay so you can use these to your references now I usually like to put this in the group and rename this properly right and height and a model okay so i'm going to click this one and i'm going to hide this by pressing h and if i want to get it back i can press uh, h again right so h to hide and unhide now um going back to your assignment let's start um doing your assignment by open up this uh, picture okay cabinet modeling size. Now in this example, right, we have this cabinet right from the front view and we are going to load this picture inside Maya. Okay, so go back to Maya. Click this um, four panel or tap spacebar. Go to my front view, make it bigger by tapping spacebar, and then go to view, image plane, and import image. Okay, so if you go to your source image, right, and load the file, this is something that you're going to get. Okay, so it's a reference picture. It's a bit hard to see, so let's hide the grid. Okay, and then select this picture i find this like a little bit too bright so i want to reduce its opacity so select this press ctrl a until you find this alpha gain and put that to 0 0.3 okay so it's much easier for me to trace now let's go back to this four view and go to the side view and then repeat the same process 
we go to view image plane import image and then load your site view again i'm going to repeat uh, hide the grid like this control a and put 0.3 okay now that i have everything set up i'm going to go to my perspective All right and focus on this area now uh, before i like to start modeling i'm going to push this guy around so i have more um, gap for me to place my model in the middle okay something like this should be good and again i'm going to start with a uh, box and i'm going to go to my front view right and I'm trying to match this front view exactly with the reference picture. So I'm going to press 4. So it's easier for me to see. Okay, something like that. Okay, and I'm going to go to my side view. Okay, get bigger. Press 4. And do it like this. Okay, so I have my um, body of the cabinet in a proper scale. Now, the next thing is I'm going to extrude. So I need to select one of these faces. All right. So while I select that, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And then like perform the extrude function. Okay, so I'm going to scale, scale down, maybe into something like that we like push it up okay it's a bit hard to see so i have to maximize it now if you are very um particular about this you can actually go to your vertex and select this and change that manually right so it will match perfectly with the reference picture go back up select all these push down a little bit okay so just checking okay I think everything seems fine okay so the next thing is we're going to select the face again and then we're going to extrude one more time okay I'm gonna push this inside and I'm gonna tap spacebar so I can see the full view and while it's being selected, I'm trying my best to match with the side reference picture. Push all the way down like that. Okay, and I have my cabinet body completed. Now, for this um, little partition, I'm just going to create a new object and place it there. So I'm going to create a box and I'm going to go to front view, press 4 and just make this a bit wider. Okay, maybe like that. Now, a little bit penetration, it's still fine. So. things like this so is this portion of the partition actually goes inside of the cabinet's body okay so let's make this a bit wider yeah, now it's better I mean if if your partition like goes all the way like this then it's incorrect but a little bit of penetration is still fine like that okay so now we're almost done so what we need to do now is we need to create the door of the cabinet so maybe I'm gonna hide this one by pressing H right so if, if you look at the reference picture there's actually a door here right for you to open up the cabinet now uh, most people will start with the box so if you create um, box right and you try to kind of like uh, extrude so 
right and you try to extrude again you're gonna run into a problem okay because if you look at the reference picture uh, this front portion of the cabinet actually uh, is a glass material okay so if you go back to your Maya and you're trying to figure it out like how to make glass uh, maybe you try to delete then things become incorrect right because if you look at this object now you kind of have a hole um, there and there and so on okay so I think in this case um, box may not be a good approach when you're creating this kind of object okay so to do that right I like to create the door frame separately and then I'd like to create the glass material separately okay so let's go back to Maya and delete this object and I'm gonna start with the plane okay so I want to make this bigger and rotate these about 90 degrees okay go back to my front view I'm trying to match with the reference picture again okay again in this case I'm gonna change this to maybe uh, 4 by 4 right I'm trying to make this uh, bigger okay and, and again I'm gonna go to my vertex and like push this upward right so this is going to uh, maintain the frame of the door and push this downward this one to this side that one to that side now um, right now I have a very basic shape of frame now before I even do anything I'm going to go to face mode and delete all these faces okay so I have a very thin uh, shape of a door frame then I'm going to select this whole object and just extrude okay so again I press W and maybe I have to pull forward just make sure you don't pull the other way because if you pull the other way you're gonna have this um, black right, uh, thing happening in your scene okay let's just pull this way for now okay so maybe about somewhere there and I have like a nice door frame for the cabinet okay and I can go to my side view to kind of like adjust it so let's go to object mode pull this forward and I get something like that okay now I'm going to create another object so this object will act as a glass material so I'm going to make this um, bigger just make sure like it has the same um, depth to it so maybe something like this right make it wider maybe um, this one is a little bit too wide get taller right and now this object will act as a glass now um, okay, make sure it penetrates a little bit Yeah. Now that everything is complete, I can go to my outliner and I can press H to kind of show the other object. Okay, it seems like your cabinet it's finished already.